We decided to stay in Chenggu, the digital nomad hub, for 30 days. This coastal village is also known for its great surf, its spiritual and friendly Balinese people who set out their woven bamboo offerings daily. Experience the amazing Balinese cuisine and a foodie's dream with both flavorful and healthy whole food options. Everyone here gets around mostly on scooters and bikes. You'll normally see traffic increase as everyone rushes to get to the beach for sunset. Grab your friends, enjoy a bintang local beer together, and feel the positive vibe while enjoying the view from the beach. While in Chenggu, rent yourself a villa or guest house to get the full Bali experience. We chose to stay at a guest house at the BB Garden Resort. Spend some time with the villa dogs. Enjoy the pool, restaurants, and activities here. The local staff are very kind, fun, and professional. It was on a quiet road, which made it peaceful but only 15 minutes from the beach, so you can also be close to the action. Next, jump on your scooter or grab a taxi and head out for exploring and fun activities. Make your way to the spiritual heartland of Bali, Ubud. Abud is a town known for its yoga community, its locally made arts, its rice terraces, its dense jungles, and epic trails. In Abud, check out the Tegalalong Rice Terrace. Where you can get your perfect Instagram worthy photos on the various swings and perches while overlooking the terraces. Take a stroll through the rice paddies. Brave some of the tougher spots. Get a luxury stay in the dense tropical jungle. We personally stayed at the Kenran Luxury Resort. Most of the indoor outdoor suites come with an infinity pool to really allow you to take in the views of the jungle while also enjoying a popular floating breakfast. After you cross into the entrance,
you will see monkeys all around you, everywhere. The forest is home to over 600 Balinese long tail monkeys. They roam freely throughout the forest. Beautiful sculptures are scattered throughout the forest as well as temples. Do make sure not to bring anything small and easy for the monkeys to steal. And if one happens to get friendly with you, do not touch them. Look for the many locals that work with them to get yourself a truly unique selfie. Enjoy a chill lunch buffet at the Butur Sari restaurant while overlooking a beautiful lake in the mountains. Oh yeah, did we mention we're also eating in front of an active volcano? The last time Mount Batur erupted was in the year 2000. Do some light shopping at the local shops on your way to the Tedanungan waterfall. It's a steep way down to the waterfall, but it's a visually pleasant one with art and pools you can get into. Don't forget to get your pictures taken at various spots. Once you get to the base of the waterfall, feel free to enjoy a swim and chill as you'll need it because the way back up is going to be tough. Now it's time for an adventure off of the southeastern coast of Bali. You're going to be making a journey to the island of Nusa Penida. Get yourself a ferry as early as possible. You'll be getting a little wet while boarding. Check out the broken beach archway. Marvel at what nature has created through erosion over time. If you're up for it, book a boat nearby for some snorkeling. Next to this, work your way up some very steep stairs. Take a break at the top and enjoy the company of some more monkeys. As you approach the top and look over the edge, you'll see the famous Kaling King Beach. The view from the top is the most popular spot on Nusa Penida. If you're feeling adventurous, make your way down to the beach through a path on its spine. As it's not easy, it is less crowded so you can enjoy the heavenly white sands. If you want to relax and enjoy some of the bluest waters on the island, the secluded cove of Crystal Bay is where you'll want to be. Head out on a fishing boat for some snorkeling or appreciate the grand rock formations and swim in its crystal clear waters. With all these activities, you may be tired. So head back to the mainland Bali. Hit up the Sangara Windu Coffee Plantation. 
where they will teach you about all the different kinds of coffee they grow and make the world famous Luwak coffee. It comes from a mongoose, or through the mongoose is the better term. Don't worry though, as there is a process to make it drinkable. Relax by the jungle overlook and sip all of the coffees and teas they make while your Luwak coffee is prepared. Enjoy the rich flavor. After all that, you will be energized. My husband was lucky enough to spend his birthday in Bali and it was one of his most memorable. It was time for waterfalls, seven to be exact. Make sure to book the seven waterfalls tour. Get ready for a challenging path down and get ready to get wet. The force you feel as you approach all of these waterfalls is something that's difficult to describe. Trek further up and test your courage by leaping into one of them. The final one is the best. Bali's popular waterfall slide. For an awesome tour guide, hit up Syria. He'll get into the water slide as well. Surya and his team will have an amazing Balinese lunch waiting for you after the slide. The Balinese people follow a form of Hinduism known as Agma Hindu Dharma. There are over 20,000 Hindu temples in Bali known as Pura, each with a specific function and rituality 
of the Balinese calendar year of 250 days. Make sure to visit them and to be respectful. Your tour guides will have lots of knowledge about each of the temples to share with you. At the Taman Ayun Temple, you'll see lots of historical artifacts and statues while taking a stroll through the gardens. One of the cooler looking ones are the Barong. If you want to see a temple with a cool view, look no further than the Tana Lot Temple, which stands for Earth and Sea. Come during the low tide to be able to get closer and explore. It's one of the seven sea temples that protect the island from any negative energy from the currents. Our 30 days in Bali were an unforgettable adventure and we only just scratched the surface on what we were able to see and do. We'll be coming back to Bali to share more with you guys.